I know that some of you will really relate to this meme that we're looking at today. The 23-year-old hypomanic failed gloomer to bloomer doomer, all right? But I'll tell you what, my friends, if you do find yourself relating to what we're looking at today, it's okay, all right? Because we're all gonna make it. That's our motto around here. We're all gonna make it. So check this out, my friends. Gloomer to bloomer. He started off, he was in that stage where he was kind of gloom, not feeling too good, feeling kind of low, sad, hopeless. He started to transition into that bloomer stage, right? Starting to bloom, starting to see the light, starting to see, you know what? Maybe there is opportunity. But then ultimately, he's come back into this doomer stage. Everything's doom. And if you're not really too familiar with this kind of stuff, we got a playlist covering this. Hours and hours. It's amazing stuff. So many relate to it. But I'll tell you what, my friends. We're all going to make it. That's what we do around here. Let's get started. Today on Starship Lockjaw. Char! Don't get you locked. Just a service. You're dead and free. Welcome back to Starship Lockjaw, your daily source for a little motivation. Hey, you like this kind of stuff, you better be subscribed, turn on those notifications, hit the thumbs up, and we will begin. All right, let's get started here. So my man, 23-year-old, uh, hypo, hypomanic, failed, gloomer to bloomer. This, that's a mouthful. Let's do it. Let's zoom in here. All right. So he finally decided to go to the therapist uh, during, during one of his manic episodes, but never got any further. So he made the decision he was going to go see the therapist, but he never actually did it. Is that what we're saying? Yeah. Mm. Why not? Why not? Talk to a therapist. Talk to somebody. I think it's so important that you have somebody to talk to, right? Uh, but it's also that it's the right people to talk to because you talk to the wrong people about these sorts of things. It can make things much worse. But unfortunately, I think that's what a lot of people do is they'll talk to the wrong people, people who are very mean and hateful and negative and toxic and are going to take them down instead of build them up, right? But yeah, never be afraid to talk to a, to a therapist about your feelings and, and never, never knock anybody who does. Some people knock people who do that. Don't never, never knock somebody for talking to a professional about how they feel. All right. Was skinny their whole life. Decides to gain weight, but did the exact opposite. So they ended up losing some weight, huh? Losing a little bit of weight and getting a little skinnier. You know, I think it just depends on our body type. Some of us are naturally thick. Some of us are naturally thin. But you can always take the steps towards, uh, towards, towards changing that if you want to. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? I've been listening to Psycho Cybernetics, okay? My new audiobook I've been listening to. And it's so amazing. All these ideas, man. All these ideas about how important it is how we see ourselves, Our self-image. It's just so amazing how it can shift our entire life. How you see yourself. How do you see yourself right now, right? Are you happy with it? Do you love the self-image that you have, right? Are you, are you satisfied with it? Are you feeling good? If not, there are always steps that can be taken, okay? And if you want to gain a little weight, put on a little muscle, or get a little skinnier, you can do whatever you want to do, my friends. Whatever you want to do. Hell yeah. Unresolved childhood trauma. Mmm. Yeah, that's something that'll stick with you, won't it? Unresolved childhood trauma. Uh, I've talked to a few of you about this. I've talked to several of you about this. This sort of thing, unresolved childhood trauma. When, the, when we take these things from our past, we can allow those things to just hold on to us for a long time. A long time. But I think that... I think that we have to come to terms with this. Is that, that the past is so gone. It's so gone. The present... We're always in the present. The past is so gone. It's nothing but a, but a memory that, that we allow to live on within us. And the future is totally imaginary, all right? It will get here someday, but by the time it does, it's gonna be the now. The now is the only moment we're ever gonna experience, is right now. You're always gonna be with it. It's always gonna be with you. So these things from our past that will cling on to us, right? We gotta realize it's gone. It's gone. And we're in control because we are here right now and anything from the past is gone. Pretty cool, huh? Whatever's right now, man. It's all about the now. Man, you ain't getting... 
Uh, neutral colors. Neutral colors. They wear a lot of neutral colors. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. You ever find yourself wearing colors that kind of uh, reflect how you feel? If you feel, you ever, I know some folks prefer to wear black all the time. I know that uh, in high school, like the, you know, like the emo kids and the goth kids, they'd wear all black all the time with the chains and they'd come to school with like makeup all over their face and black lipstick and the teachers would tell them they had to go take their lipstick off. Uh, let's, 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 let's continue. Um, yeah, wearing neutral clothes if you want to. That's okay. Yeah. Clothes left uh, from a manic episode. Clothes left from a manic episode. So he left his clothes somewhere, huh? Man, don't be leaving your clothes anywhere, baby. You can leave them there if you want. I'm just kidding. What just happened? That's his quote. He says, what just happened? Right, right. Because he just had an episode, man. After that episode, you don't know what happened. You lost control, right? You lost control. You didn't have really power over it. My friends, there's so much power inside of you inside of me, inside of all of us. And when we can really focus that power, harness that energy and put it towards something, we can go wherever we wanna go. We can do whatever we wanna do. Just gotta harness that power within us. There's so much power inside of you. I want you to know that. It doesn't matter who you are, where you're from, there's so much power inside of you. Each and every one of us has this in common, that within us, there's so much power. Every amazing thing that's ever been done, Every, every amazing achievement, success someone had, it was because they had this power within them. And it's the exact same power that's within you because it comes from the source. It all comes from the source and we're all have it inside of us. We're all conscious, we're all aware. We understand, we have the ability to understand. Consciousness, it's amazing stuff. And you're part of it. So am I, we all are. That's fascinating, man. You see what I'm talking about? You see Bay Shaman? Bay Shaman, brother. Skrr! I know some things, man. I'm trying to share them with you. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, let's continue here. Let's continue. That's a good way to live life, man. It's, we can live life however we choose. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? I say choose the right way, man. What right, though? What's right? Bay Shaman, what's right? What's wrong, Bay Shaman? How do I know? How do I know? I'll say, does it resonate with you? How does it make you feel? How does it make others feel? How does it make people feel around you? Are you on that good path? Are you on that dark path? Is it taking you where you want to go? I believe that within all of us is this, we're naturally drawn towards succeeding and winning and getting it. But if we're not getting closer to it, we can find ourselves feeling so stuck and so trapped and so miserable. We all just want to be happy. We all just want to be, we all want to feel like we matter. We all just want to be happy. And that's exactly what we are designed to achieve, right? I posted on Instagram this morning. I said, I remember when I was a little shaman and my family, we were on our way to Disneyland for a, for a family vacation. And I remember being so happy in the car on the way there. I remember being even happier on the way there than I was once we got there, once we were there, right? And I feel like we can translate that directly into our lives in the sense of, Knowing that we're on the way to where we want to go, we're happy. You're like, man, I'm getting it. I'm going there. I'm making moves. I'm seeing that it's working and it feels good and you're on your way. And you can be so happy in that journey, right? But when we're stuck in somewhere where we're not getting closer to that point, we're not getting closer to where we want to go. We're not, we're not getting closer to reaching it. it. It causes us to feel bad. And I think that's why so many people now, is more, now more than ever, are just feeling so bad. Because they're not on a road that's going to take them where they want to go, and they know that. But perhaps they have trouble deciding where it is, finding where it is that they want to go. Yeah. Just, just do it. Just set something. Just say, say, I don't know where I want to go. Doesn't matter. Just choose it. And then start. And if you have to shift, then you'll shift. We'll always shift. Let's do it. Let's continue here. Love and blessings, my friends. I, I love and I feel that this is helping. I feel this is helping. It's helping. It's helping someone right now. That's really, really good. That's really good. I feel you. I feel you. This is good. Let's continue here. Let's continue here. So uh, depressed, but he's well dressed. Hey, at least you're well dressed, huh? <laughs> uh, no, I mean, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, lost weight due to stress and the lack of money for keeping the consistent bulking diet. What? You're having trouble on a bulking diet? 
Hold on, what? You, you, need, you need money for the bulking diet? Hey, check this out, my friend. I've never had any trouble bulking. Never, never. I don't really have trouble cutting either when I stick to my cut. But the point is, if you want to put on some weight, my friend here, my friend wants to put on some weight. Brother, it's cheap. It's very cheap, all right? Check this out. Check this out. Uh, Walmart, right? <laughs> he said, shop at Walmart. I'm not listening to anything else he says. That's okay. You don't have to. You go to Walmart, right? Uh, if you want to put on weight, you want to put on some, you want some calories, brother. Um, check this out. Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and whole milk. You want to put on weight? Peanut butter, jelly sandwiches and whole milk. Okay, white bread if you want. White bread tastes good, dude. White bread tastes good. It's bleached. Uh, yeah, I know, I know. It's unhealthy. He's talking about unhealthy. We're talking about a guy here who wants to put on some weight, man. You want to put on weight quick, you can do it, all right? And if your genetics make it hard for you because you are the ectomorph, very, very skinny, and it's hard for you to do it, it's hard for you to put on weight, you want the whole milk. Drink the whole milk. It's like, what, $2 for a gallon? And, uh, and white bread is like a dollar and 30 cents or something for like a loaf. And then you get the peanut butter last you forever and the jelly. Oh, that's it. That's it. Now you're not getting any protein in that, of course, but we're just talking about putting on weight. All right. You can do your protein shakes and stuff too, but yeah, all right. Let's, uh, I wish I was an ectomorph. I would eat so much food if I was, I'm not, I'm much more of a mesomorph. That's okay. Let's continue. I get excited about that kind of stuff. I love it. Uh, failed the second attempt of moving out of his parents' house. That's okay. That's okay. Sometimes it'll take you two. Sometimes it'll take you three times. But that's okay, man. That's okay. the The current the current state of of the workforce, right? It's not it's not simple and easy like it was back in the day, right? If we talk about back in the day, uh, fifty years ago, you know, it was a uh, I don't want to discredit those who were in that time. Let me just say it's different now. It's very, very different. It's a very different world we live in. Uh, yeah, I'm sure most of you know that, right? It's very different. Financial situations are very different. Again, the work field is very different. Job opportunities, very different. It's not, it's, not, it's not very simple like it used to be. So don't feel bad about that. If it's going to take you a while, it's going to take you a while. That's all right. Be a little late bloomer. That's okay. You don't need to stress about that. Don't let that cause you to think less of yourself, regardless of what anybody else says to you about it or what anybody else thinks, all right? These are different times we're living in, all right? That's okay, my friend. Blessings. Now, here's the thing, though. Here's the thing to remember. Uh, if you are in that situation, don't waste your time not doing anything, right? Don't, don't just be sitting around not pursuing anything, okay? Because then you're just you're wasting your time. And your time is valuable. Your time is precious. So don't waste your time if you're in that situation. Be looking for the answers. Be looking for the solutions and be taking action towards them, right? Even if it's not something that's going to necessarily work, just take the action towards it. Make some moves. Do some things, right? Because in that state, you could waste your time. I don't want you to waste your time, though. Very precious. Very precious time. What has just happened? So he's again, he's saying, what has just happened? He had one of those, uh, one of those manic episodes. And that's okay. That's okay. We're all going to make it, my friend. Brief episodes of morning walk, but eventually night walk. So he's taking a morning walk, and he may get to the night walk. That's actually on our playlist as well. We talked about night walk. Uh, which, which one was that where we talked about the night walk? We've, we've talked about so much of this stuff. We're going to do more, too. We're going to do more. Um, but yeah, if you want to go on a morning walk, you do it, my friend. Night walk, you do it, my friend. Be careful at that night walk, depending on where you live. Skrr! We don't want nothing to happen to you. Um... He thought his life is finally changing. Lol. So they're laughing. They say his life's not changing. His life could be changing. It could be changing. Yeah. Don't say lol. Don't laugh at that. Life can change. It will change, all right? It will change. Once you're ready for it to change. Because it's not from outside within you. It's from within you out. The entire universe. Listen. Listen, be shaman. The entire universe is experienced through you. You are part of it, just like I am. We're connected. Consciousness is not different from yours, his, hers. It's all consciousness, awareness. And we all were gifted with it when we came into this world. So let's use it for good. What is all separation? We're separate. We're, we're not the same. We're not connected. We're not... Yes, we are. How do they not see that? How do they not see that? It's connection. It's awareness. You see? 
but through thinking that we're all so separate, that we're all so different, that I'm here and you're there and we're cut off and we're, we're, we're not the same, we're not connected, I don't care about you, I'm not you. <laughs> That's the kind of thinking that leads to a lot of, uh, it leads to a lot of suffering. However, when we can really understand that you and I, we're not so different after all. We might have a lot more in common than we think we do. Humans, man, we gotta work together. Yeah, your life can change, my friend. This entire universe, you're in control of the way you experience it. You're in control. You're powerful. So I always tell you you're powerful, okay? You're very powerful. And he thought the situation with toxic parents has abated itself, but everything stayed the same. He has toxic parents. Yeah. It can be difficult when you have trouble with your parents. It can be very difficult. I was fortunate, very fortunate. I had the best parents I ever could have asked for. I never, I never had any toxicity or anything like that. Um, but uh, if you're in that situation, if you can get away from them, that's what you'll want to do, right? You don't want toxic people in your life. You don't want people who bring you down, belittle you. Yeah, if you can get away from them, get away from them. Then again, sometimes you think that they're, sometimes you think that they're being negative towards you. You think that they're being toxic. But it may not be actually be what they're doing. Or a lot of times, I mean, parents will do their best a lot of times. And it's just misinterpreted, right? You can misinterpret it and think they're trying to hurt you. They're trying to bring you down. They're trying to insult you. But in actuality, they're trying to build you up. They're just kind of different than you are. Kind of hard to understand. But I, I don't uh, dismiss the fact that sometimes you do have very bad parents out there. Um, my friends, if you're in that situation and you can get away from them, then do, the, do so. Do so. But, uh, hell yeah. Much love, peace, and blessings, my friends. We're all going to make it. All right? We're all going to make it. Okay? If you believe we're all going to make it, I need you to believe that. If you don't, I need you to. Okay? I need you to leave a comment right now that says we're all going to make it. All right? We're a team around here. This is Starship Lock Tower, baby. Got the playlist, baby. Got the playlist. Go look through. I'm sure you'll find something that you're interested in. We're all going to make it, my friends. Much love, peace, and blessings. Feel the good vibes. Feel the good energies. Hit that thumbs up. Man, you ain't kidding. And follow Bay Shaman on Instagram. Motivational content every single day. I'll see you guys very, very soon.